the show manager is accessed by clicking the button on the lower toolbar shown here. The show manager will also appear automatically when show sum is started. This form displays all the shows currently stored in your database, and is the starting point for creating new shows or opening existing ones. All your show data is stored in a single database file, rather than using individual files on disk for every show. The advantage of working from a database is that your show data is continuously saved as you work. So there is no possibility of losing several hours of hard work if your computer loses power or crashes. It is also easier finding and working with your shows using the show manager rather than having to look around for them in a file directory. Clicking on any of the shows in the list will display basic information about each show in the summary panel. The new button is used to start the process of creating a new show. The open button will load the show currently selected in the list so that you can begin working with it. You can also open the show by double clicking it in the list. The clone button will make an exact copy of the selected show. This can be useful if you want to try a variation or experiment on an existing show without disturbing the original show. After a show is cloned, the new show will appear in the list with the word copy appended to the show name. The import button is used to load in new shows that exist as external files. Show scripts created in other programs can be loaded and displayed in shows in using this feature. Simply select the format that you are importing from the list and specify the location of the file on disk using the browse button. After the import has completed, the new show will appear in the list as the file name of the show that was imported. The export button is used to output show data from the database into one of many file formats. In addition to the native show sim format, many industry standard file formats are supported so that you can load your shows into other scripting programs or firing systems. The delete button will remove the selected show from the list and delete all of the show data associated with it. The delete operation cannot be undone, so make sure your show has been backed up to disk if you still might need it at a later date. If too many shows are accumulated in the database, the response time for loading the shows and working with them can begin to get slow. It is a good practice to only have those shows you are currently working with loaded in the database, with all past work archived as individual show files on disk. You can still use the show manager to view archived show files the same way you can see files in the database. To enter file browsing mode, check the browse show files in folder box. You can use the browse button to find the folder that you would like to examine. Once a valid path is specified, all the show files found in that folder will then be displayed in the show list. Clicking on any of the shows will still display data about each show just like when working with database shows. To bring one of the archived shows back into the database, simply select it in the list and then click the import button. To return back to the database listing, just uncheck the File Browser checkbox. Here we can see the show we just imported. This concludes our overview of the Show Manager functions.